Now, as a kid, did you have one of these, the Fisher-Price Chatterbox telephone? I have one. I'm that old that mine was made of wood, but they made them out of plastic more recently. But amazingly, you can now buy smart versions of the very same phone. I've got one of them over here. This is was released 2021, as I recall. And what's unusual about this, you can pair it to your phone and you can genuinely make phone calls on this. Sadly, this has got very similar problems to my friend Kayla, the snooping kids dolly. Actually, they're a bit worse. Now, you might remember Kayla had no pairing pin. This doesn't have a pin either on the Bluetooth connection. But what makes it worse is the battery on this lasts for so long that any phone in range can connect to it. It's always in a pairing mode, which means if you've left the receiver off for any reason, you've now got an audio bug in your house that someone in the next door apartment, on the street outside, even the next door neighbour could connect to this and listen to you. We reported this to Fisher Price and they stonewalled us. They didn't say anything about it and then silently fixed it with the latest version, which looks very similar. And this one does now time out on the pairing process. But what a shame that this product was on the market until we discovered the bugs. Fisher Price didn't acknowledge them publicly. And finally, fixed the bug silently. Not a great look, Fisher Price Mattel. That was a real shame. Anyway, very funny, and I've had lots of fun at conferences making a real fool of myself taking phone calls.